Hi, this is Alex from PHP Academy. In this video, we're going to learn how to validate URLs or web addresses as they're more commonly known. Uh, what we're gonna be doing is we're gonna be popping uh, a invalid URL into this form and clicking submit. And we should receive an error message. And then we're gonna be placing a uh, correct or a valid uh, URL into this form. And then we're gonna click submit. And if the uh, the URL is valid, it's going to transfer us to that URL. So it's going to redirect us to that page. So let's go ahead and uh, test this out. I'm going to type a little rubbish in and click submit. Uh, and you see we get this error message back. Sorry, not a valid URL. Now, if we go ahead and type in a valid URL, so I've probably already got one in here, yep. So uh, www.google.co.uk with the HTTP as well. It does look for the HTTP. Uh, HTTP or HTTPS for uh, secure uh, transfer protocol or FTP for file transfer protocol any of any different protocol that you can add it will try and validate it will just sort of look for you know this structure and we're not going to be using regular expressions uh, so we don't really have much control over that um, we do in some respects I'm not going to go into detail but for this tutorial we're going to be requiring the protocol in the end uh, on the sorry the uh, beginning of the URL anyway let's go ahead and click submit and you can see we're transferred through to Google so in this case uh, we've had a look at how this works let's go ahead and uh, start writing the code okay so we're over in our text editor let's go ahead and start to think about how this is going to work obviously the first thing we need is a form uh, so I think we should go ahead and just build our form first so we're going to say form action equals blank. That's just going to submit this form uh, to the page that we're on. Uh, and then we're going to say method equals, uh, just spell it properly, method equals, and um, we're going to say post. That's just going to transfer it as post data as opposed to get data. Uh, it just won't appear in the URL and it'll allow us for a lot more data. Uh, not really relevant in this tutorial, uh, but thought I'd mention it. So now we'll create a form field. The first one is going to be type text. This is where the URL is going to be typed. Uh, we need to give this um, a value to the name attribute so we can pick this up in PHP uh, as we send this um, back to the same page, uh, which is obviously a PHP file. Uh, so I'm just going to call that URL for simplicity. Okay, so now we need to go ahead and create a, a submit button uh, just so we can actually submit the form. So input type equals submit. So when we refresh our page, you see that we get a form here and a button, uh, form field here and a submit button here. So it doesn't really do anything at the moment because we haven't created our PHP code up here. Now, the first thing we're going to do, uh, which is important for any you know kind of uh, server-side processing of form data, is check that it exists first of all, then check it's not empty, uh, and then we can go ahead and perform uh, some kind of operation on it, i.e. check if it's a valid URL. So we're gonna say if something, now anything inside here is going to be run if this is true uh, and we're going to check first of all that it's set i.e. it has been passed through to this script uh, and second of all whether or, or whether it's not empty. So the first thing is to use is set and say dollar underscore post this is how we access that uh, posted data and um, we're going to say URL because that's the name we gave to our um, piece of data here in our form field. Now if that equals true that means it is set. We're going to use uh, and, so we're going to say and empty. And we're going to do the same thing and check uh, posted URL for empty. And we want that to equal false. So now here, uh, this block will be run if first of all we click the submit button and that data is transferred over. Uh, and then uh, if the uh, form field isn't empty. So quite straightforward. Now let's go ahead and create a variable called URL and just place that posted data in this URL uh, variable so we have better access to it throughout our script. Uh, so URL there. Now here comes the fun part of actually validating the URL itself. So we create another if block uh, and inside of here we need the condition. So we're going to be using the filter var function, uh, no regular expressions as I said earlier which can get complicated. Uh, and we're going to pass through uh, the variable that we want to, or the string that we want to validate. And then we pass through almost like a condition saying, you know, how do we want this string to be uh, validated? So we're going to say filter um, validate URL. Okay. And if this equals true, that means that the URL is valid. So we echo valid URL. Otherwise, echo sorry, invalid URL, and 
just because I want to be picky, I'm just going to change that to caps. Now, uh, in here in a moment, we're going to transfer the user through to the URL. Not entirely necessary, but it sort of gives some kind of purpose to this uh, validation. Uh, so let's go ahead and test this out. So I'm going to type a load of rubbish in, click submit and we get the form, uh, sorry, we get the error message, sorry, invalid URL. Now if I go ahead and type in google.co.uk and click submit, you see we get valid URL. So what do we want to do now that we have a valid URL? Well, we want to transfer the user to that URL. So we use the header function, and inside we say location colon, we do a space, and then we concatenate on the URL. So really it would look like this, blah, 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 blah. So uh, we can concatenate on the URL and that will transfer our user through to that uh, page. So let's go ahead and just refresh. Top load of rubbish, doesn't work. Type in google.co.uk and it transfers us over. So in this tutorial, we've learned how to validate a, um, a URL quite easy using the filter var function. Now, just one last thing to mention, there are a lot of varieties of this uh, option that you can provide here. Uh, go over to php.net, take a look, uh, type in filter var, and you'll get a load of options that you can use uh, on this.